Welcome to GeoJourney Explorers. Imagine waking up one morning to find your house split in two by an enormous crack in the ground. Sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, right? Well, for some Africans, this has become an alarming reality. Less than two decades ago, something extraordinary began happening beneath the surface of Africa. Cracks and fractures started appearing across different countries, tearing through homes and landscapes alike. This phenomenon sparked a seismic shift in our understanding of the African continent. It became evident that Africa was undergoing a continental rift, a geological process that could reshape our world as we know it. But what exactly is a continental rift? And why is Africa experiencing it? Before we take you on an unprecedented adventure, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. So how exactly is Africa splitting into two continents? Let's break it down. The key player in this geological drama is a process called rifting. Imagine a giant jigsaw puzzle with Africa as one piece. Rifting is like someone grabbing that puzzle piece and tearing it apart, creating two or more separate pieces. This tearing action occurs along what we call divergent plate boundaries. These are places where tectonic plates, those massive puzzle pieces that make up the Earth's crust, are moving away from each other. It's a slow and steady process, but over millions of years it can reshape the very face of our planet. If we rewind the clock about 138 million years, we'd find Africa cozying up to South America like long-lost siblings. These continents were once united as part of a supercontinent called Gondwana. If you look closely at the west coast of Africa and the east coast of South America, you'll notice something intriguing. They fit together like perfect puzzle pieces. It's nature's way of leaving clues about our planet's history and how continents have shifted and separated over ages. But why exactly is Africa splitting into two continents now? About 30 million years ago, the Arabian Plate began its slow drift away from Africa. This movement led to the creation of iconic features like the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden, marking the early stages of Africa's fragmentation. But the real showstopper in this continental breakup is the East African Rift System. Think of it as a massive crack, stretching a whopping 56 kilometers, 35 miles long, slicing through Ethiopia's desert. This rift, discovered in 2005, is one of the largest of its kind globally. It snakes its way through multiple African countries, from Ethiopia to Mozambique, like a giant scar on the Earth's surface. This rift isn't just any crack in the ground, it's a precursor to something monumental. Scientists predict that as this rift widens, it will eventually trigger the formation of a new ocean, making it the sixth ocean in our world. Seismic data reveals that the forces driving this rift are similar to those found at the bottom of our existing oceans, showcasing the raw power of tectonic processes. The East African Rift Valley sits at the crossroads of three tectonic plates, the African Nubian, African Somali, and Arabian Plates. These plates have been inching apart for millennia, spanning over 3,000 kilometers. This geological marvel divides the African plate into two distinct parts, the Somali and Nubian plates. While the process of rifting has been underway for ages, it wasn't until 2018 that the world took notice. That's when a massive crack emerged in the Rift Valley, capturing headlines globally and signaling the potential for Africa's dramatic split. And don't expect this great split to happen overnight. Scientists reassure us that the it won't be happening anytime soon. The Arabian plate is slowly but steadily inching away from Africa, at a snail's pace of about one inch per year. In fact, it'll take millions of years for Africa to be sliced into two unequal parts. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to drop us a like and help us with the YouTube algorithm. And as this process unfolds, a new ocean will gradually take shape a transformation expected to unfold over the course of 5 to 10 million years. And here's where things get interesting for Africa. Landlocked countries like Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Malawi and Zambia, currently devoid of coastlines, could find themselves suddenly blessed with shores thanks to the birth of this new ocean. 
fast forward millions of years. And let's imagine that nation states still exist in some form. The smaller continent formed by the rift might include present day Somalia and parts of Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Djibouti, Tanzania, and Mozambique. Delving a little more into the speculation, geologists suggest that depending on how the rift unfolds, this smaller continent might drift away from the rest of Africa, leading to the potential formation of new nations, mergers of old ones, or even complete fractures. And let's not forget about Madagascar. Experts predict that this island nation could break apart into smaller islands, adding further complexity to the evolving geography of the region. As for the new ocean that may emerge in the distant future, it might be christened the African Ocean, marking the birth of a new era and potentially the eighth continent on our planet. Now you must be wondering if this whole process is going to do any good for Africa? While the prospect of relocating communities and infrastructure might seem daunting and costly, the benefits far outweigh the initial challenges. For starters, these previously landlocked nations will now have direct access to the sea, opening up a world of opportunities. International logistical expenses will shrink as the need for costly overland transportation diminishes. With coastlines at their doorstep, new industries like shipping and fishing will sprout up, injecting life into economies that previously relied solely on land-based trade. The construction of harbors will serve as gateways to the global marketplace, allowing these nations to forge direct connections with the rest of the world. Take the Democratic Republic of Congo, for instance, which currently boasts only a tiny sliver of Atlantic coastline. While it's in use, it pales in comparison to the potential offered by a more extensive maritime border. Countries like Congo, Uganda, Rwanda and Burundi have long depended on ports like Kenya's Mombasa and Tanzania's Dar es Salaam for their sea freight needs. But with their own coastal access, they can now chart their own course, reducing reliance on neighboring ports and gaining greater control over their trade routes. And we can't ignore the digital revolution. With access to the sea, these nations can finally tap into subsea internet cables, bringing high-speed connectivity to even the most remote corners. It's a leap forward that promises to bridge the digital divide and propel these countries into the digital age, assuming, of course, that this technology isn't superseded by even more advanced innovations like Starlink down the line. Before we cover the final piece of African Split, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. The question of whether humans will be around to witness Africa splitting into two continents is a thought-provoking one. While dramatic events like sudden motorway splitting faults may give us a sense of urgency, the reality is that continental rifting is a slow and gradual process. Most of the time, it unfolds quietly over millions of years, with changes so subtle that they often go unnoticed by human eyes. The departure of East Africa into the annals of geological history will be just another chapter in the vast narrative of our planet's evolution. It's a reminder of the immense timescales involved in shaping our world. Timescales that dwarf the brief span of human existence. Speculating on the fate of humanity in the face of such monumental geological shifts can be both sobering and humbling. Who knows if we'll still be here to witness these changes? The future is uncertain, and the timeline of Earth's transformations may not align with our own. But discussing the possibilities of what lies ahead is crucial, as these changes could unfold sooner than we think. So, what are your thoughts on Africa splitting into two continents? As we conclude our journey into the heart of Africa's seismic story, we're left with more questions than answers. From the slow dance of tectonic plates to the potential rise of new nations and oceans, it's a reminder of the awe-inspiring scale of our world's transformations. This is it for today. If you learned something new today, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.